three. Not cool. That's uh, not cool, bro. That's totally not cool. What are you doing? Joey? I put an eviction letter on your door. What do you think that means? Lady, I signed it. I thought you wanted my autograph. Wait, I thought you wanted us to vote. <sighs> I even got Rex to sign it. Get out. Get out! I think we just got fired. We sure are excited to have you for the next month here at Crossroads. Pastor Atkins, this is Rhonda Moore. Now, I run the committee that found you. We have everything all set for you here at the church. We sent you directions and the address to the hotel and the church. And Pastor, I'm sorry, you know, uh, you know we can't pay you. No problem. I look forward to seeing you in a day or so. All right, drive safe. Get out there. Have a great day. You good? I'm up. Hey. How you doing? Good. You were great in the meeting, bro. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. So how are you? Good, huh? I gotta tell you, I'm actually really good, brother. Are you uh, still in that band? Uh, you know, we play a little. I haven't seen you in like five years, and the last time you came to town, you raised all this money from my church, all, all to start this restaurant. What was that restaurant called? It was the- The Back Pew. <laughs> oh, what an awesome name. And the customers could turn water to wine? Like. Well, you know, it wasn't exactly the customers. It was the customer would order water and the waiter would bring out wine and the customer would say, I order water. And then the waiter would go, but it's turned to wine. Oh, it's so brilliant. So brilliant. Hey, Heather. What you got going there? Oh, hey. Was that the new pastor? Uh, interim. Oh. Uh, interim? Yeah. We're just going to... I'll give him a shot, see if it works out. Oh, okay. Who are these two handsome characters? Jacob and Esau. That's this week's lesson. Aren't they twins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he actually stole his brother's identity to steal his birthright, but uh, you know, I wanted to get some new teaching aids here, but budget cuts. Yeah. These guys are upcycled. For it's retelling cool. of the story. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, no I, I'm gonna have to take this one. Of course. Hello? Yeah. Hi, is this Miss Heather Bludrick? Your son has been suspended. We need you to come in and talk to the principal. Okay, um, I'll be right there. So how's the church? I retired. What? I retired. You didn't get word of that? Maybe make a phone call or, or write a letter? I mean, it wasn't on Facebook? Facebook, are you kidding me? You know, you didn't come to the funeral. I've done over a hundred funerals in my career and I was there all alone. I, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, but, but I had a gig. Wait, you knew about it? Yeah, I mean, I, I heard it was nice. So my wife dies and my brother has a gig? I would have liked to heard from you. And to be honest, I'd love to hear about this special visit you just made. Well, about that. Brother, I'm going to need a place to stay for a bit. Well, you're in luck. I'm leaving town tomorrow for about a month. Really? Where are you going? I'm going to help a church in Ohio. Ohio? I love Ohio. Maybe I can come with you. <laughs> Joseph, you're more than welcome to stay here, but I'm just going to go help. 
I love to help. You should take me along to help. <laughs> what? Uh, you know, I'm going to be giving of my time. Keyword, giving. Listen, I'm a giver. Like, I'm, I'm ready to give right now. Let's go. Even if you could come with me, you can't come like that. Right this way, we're here. Turn on the light. I'm sorry. Uh, here. Orm, do you remember that property that we did about two, three months ago? Right. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah. And it was a church just like this one, right? Yeah. Correct. Mount Pleasant? Yes. Correct. Okay. Think Mount Pleasant. Think this, this is Mount Pleasant. The church is broke. I mean, broke. The committee, the board, they'll vote, and the church will sell. I promise. I've heard these promises before. Hey, listen, no, listen. Have you seen this guy? This guy's not going to work out. He's a fundamentalist, backwoods country pastor. He doesn't stand a chance. This church will close, okay? The board's going to vote. They'll relocate to a smaller location, and then we get the property. Yeah? What? Uh, okay, you get the property. Yes. Roy. If you fail, I will have your head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 my head. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. I hope that is the case, Mr. Bishop. It certainly will be. <laughs> you have a great day, Mrs. Winston. Did you feed the horses? Yes, sir. Joseph! Why do you lie to me, Joseph? Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Don't you know that? Answer me. I will. I'm sorry. I was just playing with it. Never ruin an apology with an excuse, Joseph. At least try to keep your word. Where's your brother? Committee Chairman, I call this meeting to order. Now let's take roll. Fred Asner, Christine Bauer, Bertha Stowe, here, Brenda Rosser, here. Any prayer requests? Yesterday, I was at the Wally Mart. I was talking to the cashier. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but she told me that the guy that runs the dry cleaners got caught shoplifting. No. And was put in jail. Man, this place is so boring. Nice job, buddy. Joseph, why can't you be more spiritual like your brother?
that I ask you to forgive me for my attitude, Lord. I get the fuck out of this house. Lord, I pray for you. Lord, I pray that you would just cover the rest of my life. God, I don't know why you led my brother to come here. And Lord, forgive me for being so harsh. He just, but I know I haven't seen him in a long time, but he brings out the worst in me. God, I pray that you would change his life. God, that you would do a work in him. And God, use me to do it. Use me to do it. Lord, I know that you can. Lord, you can do the impossible. Made bacon. Well, I've got to go to work, but I'm going to leave my laptop here for you, okay? Teacher's already sent over all of your detention homework and I've got it set up for you, okay? Do you have anything to say? I'm sorry. Well, I gotta get to work, okay? The homework done, I'm gonna check in on you later. Hey, Chris, you up there? You haven't left yet, have you? Hey, Chris, you better be up there because you don't want to make me climb these stairs. Hey, Chris, you in here? Chris. 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 Are you with Mr. Atkins? I am. I'm, I'm his brother. I see. Are you twins? Yes. Yeah, we're twins. Has your brother been under a lot of stress lately? I mean, he did lose his wife last year. Well, he came in with an irregular heart rhythm, and he has a slight obstruction of blood flow to his left ventricle. He has a condition we call Takatsubo. Excuse me, Taco... Takatsubo. Taco what? Takatsubo. It's a stress-induced heart condition, more commonly referred to as broken heart syndrome. It's because I came back. Well, I, I don't know about that, but in your brother's oh. case, he has slipped into a coma. Chris, I'm so sorry. I've got to be the worst brother in the world. But I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to make you proud, brother. I promise you. Joey? Hey, dude. Man, I'm so bummed right now. Bro, what's going on? You know, I came to visit my, my bro, and I put him in a coma, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? I came to visit him and, and the next thing you know, like he's gonna help this church and I show up and he's got this like taco something. Dude, I love tacos. No, 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 man, these tacos, they put you to sleep like forever. Wait, are you serious? Your brother's in a coma? Man, he was supposed to help this church and, and, and now he can't. And those people are gonna be like in a coma too if I'm not careful, right? It's gonna be my fault. Bro, okay. Go with me here. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Man, bro, I, I can't play Guitar Hero right now. No, you should help them. What? Yeah. How am I gonna help them, man? I, I don't know, but you can figure it out. You should help. Man, bro. You were made to sparkle. You're like this special sauce. You're like, like Sriracha with like Chick-fil-A sauce. You know what I mean? Crossroads Church, Mansfield, Ohio. I don't know, man. I'm just so, I'm so scared right now. You know, you didn't come to the funeral. So, so my wife dies and my brother has a gig. I was there all alone. 
I know I haven't seen him in a long time, but he brings out the worst in me. A stress-induced heart condition, more commonly referred to as broken heart syndrome. I'm going to help a church in Ohio. I love to help. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be giving of my time. Keyword, giving. Come on, man, you are a giver. You can help. You are special. Joseph, why do you lie to me, Joseph? Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Don't you know that? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm gonna make you proud, brother. I promise you. You should help. I think you're right. Like, I'm special sauce. Like, I can help these people. I can help this church. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my brother proud. Bro, make your brother proud. Yeah, bro, I got this. Mansfield, Ohio, here I come. Bro, I'm gonna make you so proud. Even if you came with me, you couldn't come like that. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight. We're passing off to the stars tonight. Welcome to the Holiday Inn. Can oh. I help you? Oh, yes, Van Essa. Um, I have a reservation for Joey Atkins. I have a Christopher Atkins. Oh, yes, that that's me. That's me. Yes, yeah, so I I'm here to um I'm help the the help the help the church. Um, you know, help here, um, this, this is what I do. I, I help churches, and they call me, and, and the church needs my help, and that's what I do. Room 212. Look at this play. It's all this stuff. <laughs> nice stuff. Welcome to sunny Mansfield. That's fine. It rained the entire way. Oh. Welcome, Pastor Atkins. <laughs> they got the wrong guy. <laughs> See you in the lobby at 7 a.m. for breakfast. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, Pastor. Welcome, come take a seat. What do you want, uh, Central Standard Time? Thank you, thank you. So did you get the basket? Yes, I did, thank you. You must be the uh, church welcoming committee chairwoman, oh, yeah. I take it. Do you 
like omelets. I do. Um, um, he will take the omelets and give him a side of white toast. He needs the carbs for energy today and some orange juice freshly squeezed. Mm -hmm. Now, my husband over here, he would love the pancakes. Give him a triple stack and some bacon, extra crispy, and some coffee, but make it decaf because, you know, caffeine gives him the kidney stones. <laughs> <laughs> and then Roy over here. Uh, I'll have a mimosa, please, and a Tylenol, if you have. <clears throat> I'll put it right in. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Um, I just have a few um, notes here for you today. <laughs> at 4 o'clock, we have the choir coming so you can hear their singing style. And then at 6 o'clock, we have a little get-together for you. <laughs> so so uh, how, how was your drive? One was, second. Uh, um, the church selection committee has written down a few questions they would like me to ask. Um, number one, Pastor Atkins, do you consider yourself a Calvinist or an Arminian? I was born an American. My my parents were born American. I I do think my my grandfather he may have been Irish, maybe. Okay, I'm going to check other. <laughs> Baptism. Does a person need to be baptized to be saved? Honey, that's not. The committee has a right. Well, you're the committee. Well, does a person need to be baptized to be saved? Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, no, no. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> now, post trip or pre trip? Post. Now, I'm a pre tripper myself, but you will find that most people here at the church are pre trip, but that's just how I was raised. So, I would just keep that to yourself for now. <laughs> so, when did you decide that you wanted to be a pastor? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, there are all these moments that happen. Mm -hmm. um, right. You know, my, my dad, when he was a good man, uh, sure. if he wasn't on the tractor, he was he was reading his Bible. <laughs> and I guess he just taught us to, to study the good book, you know, and uh, I guess I liked it. I liked religion better. <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm allergic to nonsense. So what do you have for us tomorrow? Um... What? You know, the service, the word. Are, are, are you ready to are you ready to preach tomorrow? Tomorrow Sunday. Yeah, I, I of course I've got a I got a good word for you tomorrow. Uh, I just need a little more time to work on that word. So why don't I just stay here and I can come meet you guys later if that's all right? Word. <laughs> that's <laughs> the kids are on. <laughs> just, just be here for the choir at four. Four. Van Essa, I, I need a blinky. Pastor? Hello. Hi. How are you? How you doing? Good, how are you? What are these things? Ernest Howard needs an oil change. Alicia Clevenger changed the kitty lip. <laughs> Pick a card, any card. So, I read your resume. Uh, Liberty? You did seminary at Liberty University? I'm, I'm just here for the choir. Yeah, they're in there. All right, y'all. Now remember, you're singing for Jesus, all right? So let's try this one more time, all right? And a one, and a two, and a three. Let's go. Amazing grace, how sweet. So, uh, so what name do you prefer? Um, 
Excuse me? Yeah, um, should I call you Pastor Chris, Pastor Atkins? Um, either one's fine. So, uh, what do you think? It's much bigger than I thought. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem. Just, 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 just a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. Why, why the problem? <clears throat> well, um, they can't really afford it anymore. And, um, it's just too big of a space. You know, and, um, and, uh, her father, he, he was the pastor. You and I both know she's not gonna let this thing slide. So, look around, the, the attendance is, uh, it's low, to say the least. And they've just about exhausted all their funds. You know, but, you, you, sir, well, you're their final hope. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, somebody let my Mabel know. Somebody tell Mabel I love her. Hey, hey somebody let Mabel know I, I buried some money by the rose bush out back. It should be enough to pay for the funeral. Hey, he had some rheumatism, I guess. I mean, he, I mean, he just went down. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it was, I was blown away. I, I don't know what he was doing. the sack case. of potatoes. That's exactly you know, what it was like. It was like a yeah. sack of potatoes. Oh, hey, it's almost welcome, welcome. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Pizza. Thank you. It's like I'm going to have to lead the worship now. And then, of course, the, the wife there, she's she's intense. But, you know, she's she's just trying to... Help. Help. Yep. Yes. No, I, I yeah. understand that for sure. Yeah. Do you know any singers? Singers? Yeah. You know, I actually think I know one. Oh. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hey. Good Hi. to see ya. Carson, how's it going, buddy? Good. How are you? Good. I like that shirt. Thank you. Wow. Uh, that's uh, yeah, that's Heather Mudrick and her son Carson. She's uh, she's good people. Excuse me, did you say heaven? Ooh, ooh, I see what you did there, you old dog. Hey everybody, can I get your attention? First of all, thanks everyone for coming out tonight. Now, I got a bit of a surprise, and I was gonna try and tell you all tomorrow. Without further ado, I would like to introduce you all, our Crossroads family, to our new pastor, Pastor Chris. Hey, I can meet you Pastor Atkins, I heard we found a new minister of music. Is that true? I don't know if I call him a minister, but... I think you're going to love him. Excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. So look at this. Fishers and men under the sea. Can we do it? Um, do what? Well, it's a musical. Sure, but if, if you're going to do it, make sure you do it big like live animals, maybe even sharks and sea creatures live and left fish. fish. Yes, exactly. But, but, but Rhonda, why are you asking me? <laughs> well, you're the new pastor. <laughs> So what I was thinking, Pastor, is we could have the whole stage filled with aquariums and tanks, get some sharks, we could get some octopus, and maybe even paint it blue. We could have singers from children to adults. I can be your star. Don't you worry. I led the choir. Hi. How's it going, guys? Great. We're talking about some serious things here. Oh. <laughs> so exciting. Well, I hate to interrupt, but could, could I steal my voice? Sure. We'll talk later. You think about that, Pastor Atkins. Okay, Rhonda. <laughs> oh man, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, are you having a good time? Yeah, I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, good. Well, I got something to petition to. Listen, now, now's the perfect time. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we used to take the kids on these camping retreats, and we had to scale back. Haven't done it for a long time, but 
Without a youth program, we really don't have a future here at this church. Do you think we could bring that back? Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. Really? Absolutely. They need it. Yeah? It sounds awesome. Oh, awesome. Whoa. I'll organize it. I'll let the kids know. We'll get a date. I'll let you know. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, yeah. A date? Yes! Uh, excuse Ooh. me, you're the new pastor. Yes, yes I am. This is Emery. The Hi, Girl Emery. Scouts Hi. would like to sell cookies tomorrow after the service. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. I mean, but why after? Um, why well, not sell them before and everybody can have a snack during the show, you know what I mean? That would be great. Thank That'd you. That'd be awesome. High five on that one. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, pastor. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Streaming is the new church. I mean, I don't know if you've seen this, but I, I know the church can't afford expensive streaming equipment or anything like that, but you know what? I can take this baby right here, I can press one button, and the world will see the word. Oh, well, isn't that just well, amazing? I mean, we can well, do this listen, right man. now. Well, man, you know what I say? Stream it, beam it, take it anywhere you want to go. Let's get it out there, right? All right. Um, you're not a long-winded pastor, are you? I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> Great. Short, sweet, and spirit-led. Hey, <laughs> spirit-led. Amen. Amen. Oh. My gosh, Zoe? Are you kidding, bro? Wow, Rex. Oh, Dude, man. wow. Wait, oh, what's man. up with like the baby face though? Are you graduating? Oh my gosh, did you start modeling? You look like a whole dentist. Bro, I need your help, man. I need your help big time. Whatever you need, dude, you know. You ever done a church gig? Right, so like, about the church gig? Yeah. I've done a few like Catholic weddings. But that's like the same thing, right? I mean, I think so. Okay, hey, right. here's the deal, man. I think we just keep it simple. Rock on, keep it okay. simple. Like organic, that's... minimalistic vibes? Yes, exactly, exactly. Right. So like, I'm getting like all this nervous energy. What's that about? Bro, I, I've got to preach. <laughs> you have to preach? Far out, dude. No, no, not far out, dude. I've never preached before. Like, I don't even know what to do. You're a musician, bro. Do you know what that means? You're like a philosopher poet. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you think about it, sermons are like poetry, man. Like, you know when I write a song and you're like, wow, that was so oh, poetic? All the time, bro. It's like the same. Like, your sermon, it's a song, bro. And you're going to sing that. You're going to sing that thing. It's gonna be so rad. You gotta believe in yourself. Why haven't we started yet? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, baby, excuse me. They're eating in the sanctuary. Quiet! I want some of them. I mean, uh, please, please settle down. Uh, we'll, we'll be right with you. Uh, thank you for your patience. We'll start in a minute. Are, are you okay? All right. Okay. Uh, Take a breath. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You you are... Rex Rocks. You're welcome. This is... Okay, this my is, man. This is my friend Rex, and, and he's here to lead the worship. The lead hair! The it's good. It's great hair. Super rad, right? So I've been, like, growing it for, like, three oh, well, years. You can tell. You can tell. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> it's fine, honey. Mr. Uh, Rocks. Um, Call me Rex. Rex, thank you. Uh, is there any way we can pull the pull it in kind of a type? You saw my last music video. I did. <laughs> my hair looks so much better pulled back. You know, that's what they say, and I agree. Let's try it. Let's do that. Let's do it. I can totally do that for you. Okay, we got it covered. All right, I'm going to go pray, uh, introduce the new pastor. You, sir, will preach and then dismiss. Okay, uh, Mr. Rocks, thank you. 
I like that guy. Rock on, dude. Rock on. Is everything okay up here? Um, I was wondering if this morning you could announce the retreat. Retreat? The youth retreat? That's still in committee. Um, I think it's a good idea. Then you pay for it. Okay, everybody. What a, what a great day to be in God's house, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hit it. Hey, cat lady, uh, maybe you just follow my lead on this one? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Pastor Chris. Rock on, dude. Hey, everyone. Um, it's good, good to be with you. I'm going to read from... Um, I'm going to be reading out of uh, Isaiah... Uh, Isaiah Chris says his name is going to be Isacia. <laughs> it's Isaiah, Joey. <laughs> That's a funny name. It means God of salvation. Isaiah was a prophet, and he had good news. Do you know what that was, Joey? He would tell people that Jesus was coming. Joey, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to tell people that Jesus is coming. Do you know Jesus, Joey? Um, I'm going to be reading out of uh, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah uh, 60, 22. It says, I am God, and at the right time, I will make it happen. Make it happen? I'll get the crowd going. Uh, when I was a boy, uh, we had a horse. Oh, yeah. Uh, his name was Isaiah. In fact, my dad said he was a fiery colt. And Isaiah means God is salvation. And he was a, he was a prophet. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, prof, prophet. You know, he was a prophet that God sent to tell people the good news that, that Jesus was coming. I remember as a kid, I always, I always thought, Isaiah needed to be trained. But, but I learned he actually didn't need to be trained at all. He, he just had the good news in him and just wanted it to come out. Right on. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, I think, that's, I think that's true for all of us. Like, there's a horse in you. I am a horse. And, and that horse wants to, like, come out and... Like, run. It's like good news. And the horse wants to, like, fly in the wind and hey. wants to prance in the field and wants to go where it wants to go. Doesn't need to be trained, just needs to come out. And so I, you know, I've thought about, like, if someone said, I have a dream, I have a dream, I have a dream that uh, the children will grow up in this nation like horses that are free. Free horses. I think that happens by asking questions like, uh, I think of the question like, ask not what you can do for your country, but ask what you can do for your God. Amen. Amen. So I would just ask us today to imagine. Imagine there's a heaven. I mean, it's easy if you try. Uh, imagine 
Everyone's sharing in the world. Right on. Sharing their horses. Sharing what's in them. Um, riding freely. That's freedom. Um, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for being here. And don't forget, you got hooves on your feet, so ride like the wind. Great. Oh, oh yeah, don't, don't forget, we, we have the youth retreat. Join us for that. It's going to be an awesome time. Wow. That was, uh, wow. Hi, Pastor. That was quite the first sermon, <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't miss it. I almost had to work this morning, but I could rearrange my shift to be here. Really? Where do you work? Coney Island Diner. I really wanted to introduce you to my son. This is Carson. Good to meet you. What up? Hey. Whoa, is that Iron Maiden t-shirt? Like, whoa! Rock on, man. I love to rock on. I mean, yeah, I love that shirt. Really? In fact, I love heavy metal. Like, Ah, rock it out. That guy up there, Rex, we, we have a band together. We rock out all the time. I've been trying to start a band for so long. Buddy, you should come jam with us. Like, we can jam out as loud as we want. I mean, I mean we would play together. We would play together if, if that would be okay. Absolutely, man. God. Oh, wow. Okay, bro, hear me out. If Baby Moses and Frida Kahlo were all like a big jambalaya, it would be this gift basket. Am I wrong? I'm not. Okay, let's see what you got in here, dude. <gasps> Bro, you're not ready. There's two of you. Amazing. Hey, hey, bro, I got some bad news, man. What's up, dude? We gotta do this again tonight. Oh, again? Bro, that's rad. No, it's not rad. I gotta prepare another sermon, bro. Uh, okay. Dude, you were amazing today. Listen, newsflash, I, I'm not a preacher. Oh, My brother's a preacher. I'm just a rocker, man. Bro, I feel like you found your calling today. Everyone was running like horses. Have you ever seen so many horses break wind? People went crazy today. You really, you really think so? Yeah, dude, yes. Dude, what's your deal today? But bro, it's easy for you to say that because you don't have to get up in front of anybody and speak. You know what you ought to do? Let the people talk. What if they did the talking? What? People love to hear themselves talk. You know what today reminded me of? Do you remember that sweet acoustics that we did? Yeah, that, that was that funeral, wasn't it? It was so good, like, literally everybody was crying. That was a funeral? Yeah, man, I mean, everybody wore black. I just thought they were emo. Rex, you are a genius, my friend. Yeah. Bro, no, I'm serious. Like, you're a genius. I, I, I've got an idea. Come on, come help me get some chairs. It's gonna be an awesome night. All because of you. Let's do this. You're, you're welcome. Hey. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard that little ditty that goes, Jack and Diane, two American kids living in the heartland. Or, or Tommy, who worked on the dock with his girlfriend, Gina, and they had this dream of running away. You know, those are stories. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear about each of you. Just share your story so that we can all know each other even better. You see, I, I believe in Jesus. Sometimes I don't know that he's real, and I need him got a new boss at work. He's changing everything. Job has totally changed. I don't think I'm gonna make it. And I just see something completely different when I look at myself. And I just wanna be normal. My father died three years ago. I just want to tell him that, that I loved him. My son is in the military. I miss him. When I was in college, I started abusing 
meds, got really addicted to it, and I pushed all my friends and family away. I was so mad. My thumb was good. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey. I just want to say this was incredible. It's really good. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. Thank you for allowing this to happen. This was just a great time. Um, I'm really, I'm really glad that God sent you here. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? <laughs> you dropped something there. I did, I did. Well, thank you. Yeah. Can you excuse me for a second? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Um, he he did not do an offering um this morning or, or tonight. Um, so in about three weeks, you can you can cut the check. Yep. Yes, you can. Because this church is as good as closed. Three weeks. Yep. Stuff. Like drop. Bro, what are you doing? I can't do this, bro. Are you thinking about quitting? I'm not a preacher. Dude. No. Oh, no. I am no. not a no. preacher, bro. Absolutely not. I'm are not you kidding me? Not on my watch. You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay here and you're going to like it. Listen. What is a pastor anyway? Aren't they just like storytellers? We know stories. Come on, what, what do we know? <laughs> the only thing we know is music, bro. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, okay, uh, ACDC, Highway to Hell. Bro, we're all going to hell unless someone saves us. You tracking with me here? Oh, 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 jukebox, jukebox. Aerosmith. Walk this way. We have to walk by the book. Come on, hey. you know this stuff. Yeah, how about this one? Come together. Yes! Classic. classic. That is totally a classic. Or how about this one? Who are you? Who, who? Exactly right. Like we are the children of God, right? That's what I'm saying. Dude, <laughs> queen, somebody to love. Bro, we all just need someone to love. Why don't you love me? You won't listen to me. Dude, this is your calling, man. Man, you're right. You're right, bro. But you're so wrong. Oh, come on. Like, I've, I've been lying to these people. Like, I can't lie to them anymore. I, I gotta come clean. I gotta be honest. I gotta let them know who I really am. I get it. Well, you'll have to grow back the beard. Listen, you did good yesterday. Well, different at times, <laughs> but different is good sometimes. There is one important thing you forgot. I don't mean to infringe, I just thought I should bring it up, but. The offering, yeah. Just something to keep in mind for next weekend. Yeah. Let me ask you, is, is the church hurting? Talking about the people or the budget? Both. Both are. But what happened here last night? People sharing? That's what this place is all about. Oh boy. Who are they? Your 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Marriage counseling. Mas por que você se amou muito? Lá na escola assim, mãe, eu sou uma estufa de estar em casa, toda sola, a fazer tudo, em bucato, badar de bambini, eh, cucinare. You're driving me crazy right now. Ma allora, siamo qui proprio perché tu non mi ascolti mai. Please, give me a break. Sono sempre io a fare di tutto, mentre tu lavori, e io sono rimasta a casa da sola a guardare okay, i bambini. Ok, ok. Fare di tutto, no, e, e, non si può, si può. Oh, 
E poi mi dici sempre di stare zitta. You see what to deal with? Do you hear this? Listen, oh, oh. Listen, signora. Or signorita. I do not speak S ben yo. Thank you. I am Italian, but he makes me so crazy oh, that I can't I make her even crazy. think in English. I make her crazy. This is what I have to deal with. So what you have to deal with? Yes. You never home. You never are home to deal with anything. Oh, so, so anyway, it doesn't matter like what language I speak in because he doesn't listen to okay. me. Stop! Right. Stop! Stop! You know, my brother's wife just died, and it almost killed him. You you two ought to think about that a little bit. Like, what would happen if something happened to one of you two? Is this argument going to be worth it? No. Yes. Listen, guys, I, I, need, okay. I need a minute. I need a minute. I got I to gotta take a minute here. Here. It says marriage on it. I'm sure it's a great book. Here, just, just read that. Probably good for you. Should help you. No, Mr. Atkins, he's still in a coma, just like I told you 10 minutes ago. And when you called me 10 minutes before that. No, no, no listen, I know, I know that, but it's all my fault that he, he's got the tacos. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, but if he wakes up, if he wakes up, I'll call you. You never have to call me. All right, okay, but can you just at least tell my brother that, that his brother Joey needs him to wake up soon because I don't know what I'm doing in this place. Of course you don't, Mr. Atkins. Goodbye. Please don't call me back in 10 minutes. I love you, Doc. Hello? Hello, Doc? Doctor? Oh, hey, Carson. Hey. Hey, hey man. Anybody sitting there? Uh, no. Have a seat. All right, man. All right. How are you? Doing good, man. How about yourself? Doing well. Shouldn't you be in school? Um... Yes. Yeah, he should be. Somebody got detention. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Not doing his homework at the house either. Hey, come on. It happens. So now he's got to come to work with mom. Ooh, how fun. Good times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good times. <laughs> really good times, yeah. yeah. So, uh, are you going to get lunch? Uh, yeah, I think I uh, might try the crab cakes mm -hmm. and... Good choice. And maybe some fries and sure. I'll go root beer. You got it, Pastor. Are you really in a band? Yeah, I'm in a band, man. Can I really play with y'all? Absolutely, we can rock out anytime, man. Dude, that is super cool, man. Not as super cool as you not getting detention. Yeah, 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 that's true. Good point. You know, Carson, I was, I was thinking, you, you and I Thank aren't you. that much different, man. Did your dad die? He did. He did. Were you a kid? Yeah. Well, okay, n not really, but I was acting like a kid. <laughs> hey, why don't, you, uh, why don't you finish your schoolwork and uh, maybe afterwards we can get together for jam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Enjoy fasting. Great. All done. Done. All right. Let me get those out of the way for hey, you. Um, he's finished his schoolwork, and uh -huh. would you be okay if we ran to the church and played a little? I can come over and get him after my shift, okay? Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Be good. Have fun. Thanks, yeah, Mom. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Woo! Let's go, man. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. Right. I understand. Thank you. Bye. Hello? Hey. What? What's with the face? I hate opening our account. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. In the Bible, red's a good thing, right? You know what? Who needs a website? I mean, Jesus did not have a website. We have two weeks. What? 
two, three, hut! What a great time. I mean, you see oh, that? I did. He is loving that. Oh, really. He's a great kid. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, so, Iron Maiden, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, see, I'm not really a pastor. Oh, I know. You're, you're more of the youth pastor type. No, I don't don't think you're getting it. Um really not a pastor. Wow, mm. love it. This is awesome. It's better than I imagined. Hey, um, by the looks of it, we're in a musical. Wait, did you say we? <laughs> yeah, under the sea or something. I did not sign up for this. Uh, <laughs> let me go see what she's got in mind. Darren, right? Hey, hi. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Hi. Uh, from the from church. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk. Uh, sure. So, what are you doing here? Uh, business. I. You bank here? No, no. I was just trying to get a short-term loan. For what? Business, personal? It's for the church. What they said? They said no. Yes, please, thank you. We need to come together, right now. Like, you gotta feel it in your soul. You gotta let it bubble up out of you. Right on. Or right, let me say it this way, you gotta walk this way if we're ever gonna make it to, you know, that stairway to heaven. Wow. You gotta walk that way. That's preaching? That's the worst preaching I've ever heard. You gotta know when to fold them. Preach. No, no, no one to hold them. Hold on and run. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm out here on my walk for the day. This dude is so cool. He's been preaching, but he's been doing it in such a way that's so unique and so original. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're the man, man. The man of God. Yeah. Crown of roses that Jesus had around his head. And you know, it makes me think every rose has its thorn. Amen. Wow, what he said just blew my mind. That guitar player had the coolest hair. I would so listen to that pastor any day. That's my pastor, Pastor Chris. You know, I know when it, when I lay me down to die, I'm going up to the spirit in the sky. Oh, you're 
Hey man, can you get a beer? Uh, uh, hey, make that a root beer, please. Got it. Thank you. Bro, I need you to wake up. I need your help. Because this church is as good as closed. Joseph, why do you lie to me, Joseph? I've, I've been lying to these people. Like, I can't lie to them anymore. I, I gotta come clean. I gotta be honest. I gotta let him know who I really am. Chris, I'm so sorry. See, it, it's my fault. Bro, I need you to wake up. I need your help. Dad, I'm sorry. Chris, I'm sorry. Lord, most importantly, I'm sorry to you. God bless you, Joey. You know? Well, of course I knew. Well, I mean, I know now. You, you know I was only trying to help. You know my brother's in a coma. And I, I talked to the hospital this morning. You know, Joey, our 39th president, Jimmy Carter, well, after his inauguration, his mom was walking him over to the White House and a reporter asked her, are you proud of your son? And she said, which one? Because she had two sons, right? She had Jimmy, who was the president of the United States, and Billy, who was a gas station attendant. She was proud of both of them. And I'm gonna take a guess that your, your dad, your parents are proud of both of you. Look, I don't know why God chooses people. He didn't choose me to preach. Sometimes I wish he had, but I, I know one thing. God chose me to run this church. And I believe that God has a plan. And I also believe that you are part of that plan. You know, Darren, I, I overheard that real estate agent, uh, Roy. Oh, yeah. He said the church is going to be closed in three weeks. Yeah. Well, he's our Judas. And it's a good thing he's not on the board. He's got these investors that want to turn the church into a shopping mall. We're in trouble. Yeah, I'll admit it. But we're gonna be okay. So I just, I want things to stay the same. You know, I just want a few days to process. Yeah, I understand. We're gonna have to make an announcement. Now in the meantime, you're, you're welcome to stay here. Oh, and you know, your video went viral. Oh, man, that, bro, that was years ago and it was late one night and, <laughs> and you know, they, my friends dared me to do it. No, I'm no, no, sorry. no, 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 this, this was last Sunday's sermon, so I, well, could be a blessing, could be a curse, see you around. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a reservation for Christopher Atkins. My brother probably was here earlier and he took my reservation. Room 212. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. I'm gonna be praying for you. Let's go. Hey. 
Hey, so I'll take care of the service. All right, sounds good. And then we'll make an announcement when you get back. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, who's ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. You? Here we go. Hey there. Hey. hey. Hey, you must be Chris. Yes, Darren, I assume, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. It's nice well, to meet you. Well, I look forward to uh, filling you in on what's going on with your brother. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's okay. I, I think he has good intentions. I believe he does. Jesus, please. We still need a miracle. Amen. You won't believe it. Oh, wait, I think I know. You're pregnant. What? No, I'm not even married. Well, then what is it? I'm busy. The church. We're out of the red. Let me see that. Pregnant? Oh. Really? Well, we're not going to lose the church. The church is saved. We're going to have the church. The church is saved. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You ready? As ready as I'm ever gonna be. Yeah. Let's do this. Hey, everyone. Before we start, I just wanted to take a moment to share something with you. Those of you that are parents, you have some incredible kids. You know, I, I learned a lot from them. And you know, I'm also thankful for the time that we could have. I, I've met some amazing, wonderful people over these last few days. and. But I've, I've got to confess something, and I just need to be honest with you. I, I'm not your pastor. No, no, that's right. He is not the pastor. But he would make a great associate pastor or youth pastor. <laughs> what do you know? Yes, folks, my name is uh, Pastor Christopher Atkins, and uh, Joey, or Joseph as I like to call him, is my, is my twin brother. He came in here to, I guess, fill in for me while I was recovering from a heart issue. I believe he had good intentions, and you know, I love my brother, and, and I'm proud of him, and I love his passion, but I can sense that you love him as well. That's why I think together we would make a great team here at Crossroads Church. We like to be your pastors. I, I think it's a great idea, right? I mean, come on, we get a, a twofer. Now we just need the, uh, the church board and uh, the selection committee to take a vote. And I, I would like to ordain and establish Joey Atkins and Chris Atkins. We just need... Uh, Unanimous consent, right, Judy? For the record, I knew the whole time, and I didn't blow your cover. You know I'm Chris, and that's Joey. Right. Sorry. Um, Mrs. Moore. Yes. Mr. Ashworth. You bet. Mr. Beasley? Yes. Mr. Fraley. Yes. Mr. Holt. Mr. Holt. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And lastly, Mr. and Mrs. Morris. Yes. Yes.
Hey, buddy. But are you okay? So everything was a lie then. All of this was just a scam. Everything. No, no. It wasn't, man. I, I thought it was a good idea and it had snowballed. And I was just trying to help. Listen, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I want us to be friends and I hope you'll forgive me. So was Iron Maiden really a lie too? No, man, come on. You know we rock out together, 100% true. I mean, look at this shirt, I got the same shirt, what are you talking about? Um, hey man, would you just give me a second? I wanna to talk to your mom. You lied to me. I know. You're right. It's, it's been eating me up to tell you. <laughs> no, please, 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 don't go. Just give me a minute. Let, let me let me try to explain. I, I don't know if you felt what what I felt over these past couple of weeks. But it's been amazing. And, and I gotta be honest with you, if, if coming here and pretending to be my brother gave me the chance to meet you, I don't regret it. So, just give me a chance. Okay, let's try this again. My name is Heather. Hi. 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 I'm Joey. I'm a rocker. <laughs> what, what, what do you say we get out of here? Mmm, I don't know. You sound like trouble. I think you got that right. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You'll always be my heart and my life. Every second, every day. Never in a gazillion years did I see this coming. I mean, Joey and I practically saved a church. Well, mostly me. Truthfully, I think this place saved us. It's not a bad gig. We're